All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create an object and then uh, we're going to set up the material which allow us to mix uh, two shaders uh, with the use of a mask. Uh, and uh, we're gonna paint that mask with the brush that we made. So let's go ahead and uh, make an object, control A, let's make a cube. Uh, we're not really gonna change the size of anything like that. Uh, instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, here to material properties. Uh, we're gonna give it a new material. Um, let's make it something awesome, like this red. Let's copy that red to viewport display. Okay, so we can see this cube now in different render previous. All right, so, and let's change this to shader editor so we can see the material. All right, so now what we're gonna do is um, keep in mind that this cube already have UVs, UV editor, okay? All right, so that, that's how cube currently flattened as. Um, so, um, and for what we need, for, for what we're about to do is we'll need uh, for the cube to have some kind of UV. So, but normally uh, you would actually re-UV your object before going any further. So go to faces, select everything, and then press U. And uh, I'm going to choose smart UV project uh, for islands. So I'm going to choose 0 0.01. So they, they're a little bit, okay. All right, so that's cool, that's fine. So um, a little bit different um, the way it laid it out. So now uh, we can uh, start setting up our mask. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back here and um, so in the shader editor, we're going to add an image texture. A search image. Okay, so now the texture needs to be created. So we're going to press new. So let's go ahead and so new image. Let's call this noise mask. Noise. Um, and um, um, we can leave it leave it be in black. Um, we don't need it an alpha channel, so we can turn that off. We're gonna say, okay. All right, cool. So, and now uh, I can go ahead and um, connect this um, to the preview. So that way I can actually see what this actually looks like. 